Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Golden Bachelorette Joan Vasso's Hometown Sneak Peek In this week's episode of The Golden Bachelorette, Joan Vasso's visits the hometowns of her final four suitors. ABC released a sneak peek at the upcoming episode. Will Joan's insecurities get the best of her? Stay on this page to watch the preview for the next episode. Final Four Golden Baccalaureate Suitors Joan Vassos began her Golden Baccalaureate journey with 24 suitors. She was previously a contestant on Jerry Turner's season of The Golden Bachelor, but had to leave early due to a family emergency. After five weeks of individual and solo dates, there are just four suitors left. Who are they? Pascal Evue. Pascal, 70, was born in Paris, but now lives in Chicago, Illinois. He's the owner of a popular hair salon. He wooed fans with his charm. Pascal is now known for his love of underwear. Guy Gansert, Guy Gansert, 66, is an emergency room doctor. He helped fan favorite Charles Ling come to terms with his wife's death after explaining how it happened. Guy publicly addressed and apologized after a past restraining order was made public. Chalk Chapel, to many viewers, Chalk Chapel is the clear frontrunner. The insurance executive from Kansas has the strongest connection with Joan, but anything can happen during hometown dates. Jordan Heller Jordan Heller, 61, is a senior sales exec from Chicago, Illinois. He hasn't had much time with Joan, but according to his ABC bio, he loves pickleball and once dated singer Taylor Dane, who made a cameo on the show. Joan Vasso's Hometown Sneak Peek Many viewers think Joan Vasso's is still mourning her late husband, John Vasso's. He passed away in 2021 after a battle with pancreatic cancer. Some shocking details of his past recently came to light, but Joan only has kind things to say about him on the show. The sneak peek ABC dropped starts with Joan excitedly flying out for hometowns. However, she candidly admitted that she wasn't sure she was in love with any of her final suitors yet. Could that be foreshadowing the prediction from fans that she ends up alone? She also admitted to being in different places with each of the men. At least one of the final four will be sent home this week, and the remaining men will continue on to the overnight dates. In this hometown episode of Asterisk, the Golden Baccalaureate Asterisk, Joan Vassos, the sparkling heart of the season, takes center stage as she brings her top contenders to her cherished hometown. The excitement is palpable, and there's a gentle autumn chill in the air, perfectly mirroring the emotions running high. Joan's journey to find love in her golden years has been one of self-discovery, rekindling passions, and embracing vulnerability. This week promises to be particularly poignant, as the men who've captured her heart will get a rare, intimate glimpse into Joan's world, a world filled with rich memories, laughter, and family love. The camera pans to Joan's hometown, an idyllic Midwestern town with tree-lined streets glowing in the vibrant hues of autumn. A light mist rises off a nearby lake, offering a postcard-perfect scene that feels like a time capsule from a simpler era. The houses are modest but welcoming, decorated with pumpkins and wreaths in honor of the season. Joan steps out of a sleek black SUV, her blonde hair tussled in the cool breeze, wearing a cozy beige cardigan that accentuates her golden complexion. Her face lights up with nostalgia as she takes in her surroundings. Welcome to my hometown, she exclaims to the camera, with her signature warmth that has endeared her to viewers across the country. This place has shaped me in so many ways. I can't wait for the men to see where I come from. The first stop on Joan's hometown tour is her family home, a charming colonial-style house that holds a lifetime of memories. Her children have gathered in the front yard, eager to meet the men vying for their mother's heart. It's clear that family is the cornerstone of Joan's life, and she's ready to share that with the finalists. As the men arrive, the tension builds. Each suitor is nervous yet excited, knowing that meeting Joan's family is a pivotal moment in their relationship. Joan greets each of them with a warm embrace, 
and the air is filled with the aroma of freshly baked apple pie, a family tradition, as Joan later explains. The first suitor to meet Joan's family is Arthur, the charming and slightly reserved gentleman who has been a slow burn throughout the season. He's well-dressed, and his quiet confidence seems to put everyone at ease. Joan's children, particularly her daughter, engage him in light conversation, proding to see if he's truly ready to embrace the life their mother has built. Arthur handles the pressure with grace, offering thoughtful responses and genuine smiles. Joan watches from a distance, clearly proud of how well he's doing. Next up is Victor, the fun-loving, adventurous suitor who has brought a spark of excitement to Joan's life. He bounds into the yard with an energy that contrasts sharply with Arthur's calm demeanor, but it's infectious. He quickly charms Joan's grandchildren, playing catch with a football and laughing with the family as if he's been part of their world for years. But as Joan watches, there's a flicker of concern on her face. Is Victor ready for the serious commitment she's looking for? His free-spirited nature, while endearing, might not align with her long-term vision. The third suitor guy walks up to the house with a bouquet of flowers. There's a deep emotional connection between him and Joan that has been apparent throughout the season, and today is no different. Joan's children notice it immediately. The way he looks at their mother with admiration and tenderness is unmistakable. Guy is calm, composed, and clearly aware of the significance of this moment. Joan's family welcomes him warmly, and during the dinner conversation, he speaks openly about his hopes for the future, a future that includes Joan. After meeting the family, Joan leads the men on a tour of her favorite spots in the town, offering more insight into who she is beyond the bachelorette everyone sees on screen. The local coffee shop, where she spent countless mornings reading and sipping her favorite brew, is a must-stop. This place has always been my little sanctuary, she shares as the group walks in. The baristas greet her with familiarity, reinforcing just how deeply rooted she is in her community. Joan is glowing, clearly in her element as she shares this part of her life. Later, the group heads to the park where Joan's late husband used to take her on weekend walks. It's a quiet, reflective moment, and Joan speaks openly about her past, her grief, and how far she's come in her healing journey. The men listen intently, their respect for Joan growing with each word. It's a vulnerable moment, one that underscores the depth of her heart and the love she's ready to give again. As the sun sets, casting a golden glow over the town, Joan gathers her thoughts. The day has been overwhelming but in the best way possible. Meeting her family and revisiting her past has brought everything into sharper focus. She's been on an incredible journey, one that's led her to these final few men. But now, standing in the twilight of her hometown, Joan knows the decisions ahead won't be easy. The evening concludes with a cozy, intimate dinner back at Joan's house. Candles flicker on the table, and the atmosphere is filled with a mixture of excitement and tension. Each man takes a turn pulling Joan aside for a private conversation hoping to solidify his connection with her before the upcoming rose ceremony. Joan listens carefully, her mind racing as she weighs her heart's desires against the reality of blending two lives together. As the night draws to a close, Joan stands on the porch, gazing out at the men who have made it this far. Her heart is full, but there's also a bittersweet edge to the moment. She knows that after tonight, not everyone will move forward. Hometown visits have a way of grounding the fantasy of the show, bringing it back to real life, and real life requires tough decisions. Joan takes a deep breath, ready to face the future, knowing that no matter what happens, she's surrounded by love, both from her family and from the men who have walked this journey with her. As she steps inside, the door closing softly behind her, the screen fades to black, leaving viewers eagerly anticipating the next chapter in Joan's search for lasting love.